Hey everybody, Six Theater going to be giving you Game 2 from the uh, Inter Starcraft Team League. R game 2, yeah, from the round of 16 between the Red Terran, a bar here in the top right, who's currently a game down, um, playing against Engen Light, the blue Protoss, who is actually one of the best Grandmaster Protosses on our server, so uh, desperately... Uh, definitely not not feeling no shame to losing against him. What I really liked out of Abar's play the last game was just that he kept his Banshees alive. He only built like a couple of Banshees and he kept the one Banshee alive. Ke uh, made Light keep a lot of those Stalkers back inside his base, even um, doubling up with them uh, with some uh, Medivac drops, which I just felt was really, really nice play. So game two on Zelnaga Caverns, I believe that he picked this map. I'm so not sure. I should probably like check some rules or something hey guys um but yeah he's gonna feel comfortable on this map everyone's gonna feel comfortable on this map but a bar really um i would not expect anything crazy to come out of him just because i think if you're gonna go out of a tournament you want to go out playing your standard game and especially against light i mean he, he might be feeling that he's gonna be going out quite soon but nevertheless let's see if he is gonna be able to uh even up the series or if light's gonna be able to take it to naught Light just could be getting down his gate. Well, let's take a look at the production tab. Just open that up for the sake of it. Actually, let's open the APM tab. Holy shit, he's he's peaking at like 580. I didn't even know that was possible. And uh, Light actually going to be throwing down his gas at the same time. A bar's barracks coming out right now, so not too much happening. Let's see if a bar's going to be opting for that uh, Banshee Raven tank marine style once again. And if Light's going to be opening three gate robo once again. Um, I wouldn't expect anything to change out of light just because what worked last time is, is worked really well, um, especially with that observer timing able to spot the banshee coming in. Uh, a bar, I really think if he's going to open banshees again, he can refine it a little bit better. It, the banshee could come out uh, a little bit quicker, I think, just because last time he opted to make a tank before he swapped out his starport and factory for that tech lab. Um, but yeah, let's see if he's going to be doing it this game. Oracle Command being thrown up right now. The first Marine going to be coming out as well to shoo away that uh, scouting worker. And looks like that a bar is... Ooh, he's actually taking guys off gas just to throw off light right there. I know you might have thought that I've watched this before, but I actually haven't. I was just thinking he's going to saturate the gas. And I saw two on the current harvesters. And it really pissed me off when people don't <laughs> saturate gases. But uh, he's actually pulling people off gas and he's going to be going for a second rack. So he may just go for a sort of a no gas expand, throwing off light, playing the mind games. Um, but light will have a probe here to scout any push coming out quite soon. And really, um, I like this decision from a bar because uh, in early game, we did see that light did have quite a deficit of units before expanding. And he really, really rushed for that Colossi. A lot of zealots. Um, and not too many uh, stalkers or sentries and, and just like one immortal which against marines actually isn't very good and it looks like that a bar will be opting for this two racks expand style uh let's call it a pseudo gasless and um yeah so it's a nice play coming out right here he's gonna be throwing down a bunker right there um i mean like getting getting the refinery is is kind of a nice touch but it doesn't really feel like it changed much. Like, even if he was going 2 racks expand, like right now, a bar is going to be mining gas anyway. So, what did it change? Um, because a bar isn't putting down any early pressure, the 2 racks doesn't mean too much. Um, like, like, getting the gas, yeah, it allows you to get your second racks out a little bit earlier. But if he's not going to be putting on pressure with it and he's going to be defending with it, then I don't feel like. Um, delaying the gas mining was really good because he could have uh, got the tech lab down whenever and then he could have got like saved up his gas right now and uh, if he had mined gas right now he'd still have enough for like stim pack or something um, yeah so I'm not sure if I like that but looks like that light is going to be throwing down his, his expansion he's got three gates up so he's just going to be going through a three gate pressure contain very standard play coming out right here and uh, as if he engages this bunker from this angle he's dead um, well not dead but he won't be able to push in further but if he pushes from this left hand side where this bunker is actually not saturated quite yet uh, then he could have a chance and it looks like that a bar will be making quite a clever choice not rushing his expansion too much uh, ooh, actually no he's just gonna be throwing it down never mind but as soon as he sees his units he may want to double the that uh, looks like that light's going to be coming in here with a contain, and it looks like uh, a bar's actually going to defend it very nicely. Uh, units just running around the side, and a bar's just going to be lifting up once again until he builds up a larger army. 
And uh, keep in mind that all this time that he's delaying the expansion of a bar, at the same time he's going to be throwing down his own. His own second X is just completing right there, chrono boosting out the probes. So he knows right now that he's denying his Terran an economic uh, advantage that the Terran is currently like sacrificing 400 minerals for. Um, and at the same time, he's going to be seizing, hi hi increasing his own economic advantage. So very nice uh, sort of principle to go by. Like if you deny an expansion, if your expansion is going up at the same time, you are ahead by quite a lot. And it looks like that bar is going to be unloading. He doesn't have Stimpak. He doesn't have any of those upgrades. No concussive shells even. And um, yeah, he he might try to shoot this away, but with the amount of force fields that Light's going to have and the amount of stalkers he's going to have, and the fact that he can warp in, I don't really like it. Uh, yeah, Guiding Shield just to run away at the moment. And really, if the Terran forces, if a Bai had committed to this point, Protoss just love this point right here. Just for, for like three force fields, cut off half your army, retreat a little bit, and uh, just outrange you a little bit. So, so, so strong to take down Bai balls, especially in the early mid-game-ish area. And it looks like a boss is throwing down three more, uh, two more reactors. He's going to be researching Stimpak right now. It feels quite late, and um, yeah, just reflected by his gas count. You can see that. Salvaging another bunker, and a bar just taking a nice stance right here. Light looks like he might retreat quite soon, as he's got his expansion up. He's also got his robotics facility up, robotics bay even being thrown down. And yes, it looks like he's just going to retreat. He's got his tech up. He's delayed the expansion long enough, and. Uh, yeah, feeling very comfortable. He's had this second nexus longer than the Terran has had his second command set off. But uh, with the meals, you know, it could it could even out, maybe. <laughs> uh, looks like the first observer is actually going to be coming out. And this observer is a little bit late as well. Um, but during that contain, I mean, Light had all the scouting that he needed. He knew that there was no stim pack or a bar would have been able to shoot that away. He uh, could, he might have been able to tell that there was no concussive shell. I'm not sure if the Marauders shot at him. Um, and if he clicked on a marine, he would have... Oh, wait, no, he can just see that there's no combat shield. So, um, yeah, he could do some scouting, basically, with that pressure. And since he saw no tanks, he knows that there's no factory quite yet, and that medevacs aren't on the way quite yet. And it seems that, like, his observer's going to be able to scout as soon as this pressure's away anyway. Um, engineering Bay going up as well as that factory somewhere in the base, yes. And he's also going to be getting a reactor and a tech lab. And another barracks. So it looks like that Abaya is going to be opting more for bio style this time instead of the tank, marine, raven, banshee sort of stuff. But uh, light being so, oh so diligent anyway, he's going to be throwing out proximity pylons around the perimeter of the map just to spot for any drops. And yeah, always very good play to do that. Chrono boosting out his uh, colossi and the extended thermal lance. And just in the last game, we saw that once Light gets like that critical number of Colossi, he's just so difficult to stop. Even if he char like trades his gateway army, um, if his Colossi is still alive at the end of the day, he's pretty happy to trade armies like that. Um, just because you know you need to keep, keep the Colossi alive. The gateway army can be replenished to some extent, um, but yeah, the Colossi are just the damage dealers. And he's even got pylons all around this back lane of the pr Terran base, so look for those uh, proxy pylons to perhaps do some damage later on in the game. And uh, Extended Thermal Lance should finish in time of, for this push. No, it looks like Abai is just going to pull back. He does have Stimpak right now. Uh, but really, without Medivax, I do not like this push. Getting Supply Cap just a little bit right there. And he's going to be bringing SCVs even. Oh, it feels quite late to do this sort of push. Um, just because Colossi on the field and Colossi eat SCVs for lunch. And uh, now it looks like that Light's going to be trying to get some nice positioning. Keep in mind, see how all the Zealots are at the front, and the sentries are in range to do force fields if he engages from this angle. Just nice positioning right there. And, uh, oh, Guardian Shook going up, missing his chance for force fields. Actually, here come the force fields. Force fields! Stim actually going down there, and it looks like Zealots will be morphing in from the left-hand side. And here come the force fields, actually trapping the army completely, not allowing them to do anything, even SCVs being up, burnt to a crystal. These Colossi just took so much work right there. And uh, now Abar has actually thrown away his army for practically nothing. And these Colossi, 11 kills, 5 kills, 3rd Colossi even on the way. And uh, just look for Light to go in for the killing push. You take a look at the food count. He's almost tripling Abar's food. He's even got this proxy part here on the low ground, warping in uh, all these stalkers. And uh, Abar desperately trying to scratch any sort of defense. But against two Colossi with all these stalkers reinforcing, he's not going to have a chance, I believe. And really, if Light wanted to, he could just take a third base and prolong this. But I feel that, yeah, he could just kill him. <laughs> he could just kill him. Don't mean to be mean. <laughs> and, uh, 
Oh, but there we go. It looks like that. Uh, the final push is going to be coming in. in taking out the buffer really quickly. Not all these stalkers actually not firing. Uh, not all the stalkers firing is what I meant, but it doesn't really matter. The sheer numbers of units from Light. And it looks like that Avar will call good game. And Light able to take the series, advancing to the round of eight to uh, for the UCID team. So uh, well done by Light, and thanks for watching. See you.